All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? And welcome to another FFT AI battle. So on our top, uh, we have a new team from Castia uh, with the portraits on the left-hand side. And then on bottom, uh, we have Phoenix9 once again. And uh, he's our team in black on the right-hand side. So let's introduce the units then for both of these teams. So uh, for Castia, we have Sabin the Monk, Terra the Geomancer, Realm the Time Mage, and Edgar the Lancer. And now for Phoenix Nine, we have Kaladin the Lancer, Kelsio the Geomancer, Iguan the Priest, and Nyetnev the Summoner. How the fuck do you pronounce that? So, um, I'll just want to just make uh, one quick note. So, Castia, um, when you submitted me your team, you didn't list any uh, magic from Time Magic itself. So what I did then is I uh, I gave her haste, just the haste spell by itself. You didn't list anything besides summer magic, so I don't know if that's intentional. Um, I'm assuming that because you have a time mage, you wanted at least haste. That's just a heads up. Um, as for the units themselves, I didn't really look at compatibilities, but they're very similar in terms of design. If you look at the time mage right here, and then you look at the summoner, Exact same skill sets, just uh, one's a summoner, one's a time mage. Uh, they both have blade grass, both have magic attack, they both have the exact same equipment. The only difference is that this uh, time mage has nine more health and one point of additional speed and one point of PA. Um, less man overall, but the diff the discrepancies between these units are very small. Um, both of these lancers on both teams have a Hamido jump um, and two hands. That's the prominent thing. Um, one thing to note or to look out for is that uh, this Geomancer on uh, uh, Castia's team has a bandit and a mantle and a shield. So if any melee is inflicted upon her, the chances of her getting hit are very slim. It's very difficult for her to take damage. So, uh, yeah, um, we're just going to jump straight into it. And I'll just mention one last thing then as a little disclaimer. So these units, um, the team name is called Final Fantasy VI Returners. These are the main characters of Final Fantasy VI. Edgar, Sabin, Terra, etc. So, yep, we're going to go to uh, map 49, Fort Zeke, where uh, unfortunately uh, Teta is killed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play some music in the background. It's uh, some wrestling theme music. It might have a little bit of lyrics, so it may overpower my voice, but I'll, make, I'll try to make sure that that's not the case. So let's just get to it. Yep. This is Smoke and Mirrors, Cody Rhodes' team from WWE. And right off the bat, a triple man summon. Oh my gosh. But there's going to be a return fire. No silences, unfortunately. If the silence were to apply there, that summoner wouldn't have been able to cast these spells. And she's dead. Oh, that's not good. Because now he's on the resurrection. Remember, he's got two hands. So, she should be able to get her summon up before everybody else. Uh, we'll see. Uh, what's going to go off first? The Don't Act or the Summon? That's what I'm curious to see. If the Don't Act goes off first... Um, nope, it's not. That's too bad. Alright. The Priest is not dead. But she was able to apply that Don't Act, so it's not a lost cause at the end of the day. Martial Arts, pretty good damage. 72. Must be compatibility. PC should be doing a little bit more with 10 PA. But that's just me. Death Sentence, alright. Uh, resurrection upon her once again, but remember the the Geomancer in Castia's end um, can always cast spells. So, and By the way, the music, I'm just going to leave it as an extended track. So, Three Man three man Cure, that's pretty good. Um, I think the Geomancer on Castia's end is a little too far away to hit that summoner, so Two Man Haste as a result. Earthflesh? Three man, too. Not bad. Another cure. But she's running up there safely. So the Lancer can't jump either. Two hands. Alright. Unfortunately, the evasion did not come into play. Oh, I gotta click on my emulator. I'm sorry. I'm trying to angle the camera upwards. She's still got a moderate amount of MP left. That uh, Geomancer, Castia, 52. Last turn of the Geomancer. 
Eh, 45 damage, it's something, but I'm a little afraid. Yeah, because I think it's up to this uh, Lancer on Phoenix Nine's end. And he just gets a meter for his troubles, and he gets one-shotted. How unlucky. Um, I think it's over, though. Um, because... Wait, let me see. I, I think if Phoenix 9 is in blue, I'm sorry. Um, pay attention to the emulator screen, not the display, so... Yeah, but it looks like um, Phoenix 9 is just on the back end. Because I don't know if that summoner will be getting a turn off. Nope. Yeah, the summon should kill out the Lancer too. Let's see. Nope, he's still alive, but... I missed. Oh. Alright, hopefully this one connects. Uh, I'm not certain. If you jump it all the way, the spell kills him. So it's a two-on-one, believe it or not. Um, but he just got a turn in. So the summon might go off. I don't know, this Lancer might be able to solo. Let's see, Playgraphs does it come into play? No, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my gosh. And that Lancer can't get revived because he's at an angled tile. That's the thing. Oh, oh no, what you doing? No. Oh, don't do that. No, you dumbass. Oh. I wanted her to pick up the crystal so she could revive the Lancer with like a raise two or something. Oh, it's still a two-on-one, but oh. Oh my god, this is so close. One on one. Come on. Is it come on, Blaygrass. Work baby, work baby. Damn it! Oh my gosh, that Lancer just went to town. <laughs> uh hey there, Cassia. Good to see ya. Um I don't know if you saw the round itself, but it was pretty entertaining. We're gonna go to our large map, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in one moment. Public cemetery. <clears throat> All right, our large map, public cemetery, the credit scene, where you see Ramza and uh, his sister, uh, Alma. So, uh, his presumed funeral. Um, not going to spoil it, but the last round was uh, pretty interesting. Um Again, I think AI stupidity can sometimes be the cause for one's win or loss. Um, hopefully, this summoner, or, yep, the Lancer stays in the range of the haste. He doesn't. Oh, that's unfortunate, because he could have got a haste applied to him. Whereas, Phoenix 9's units, two of the four get hasted, so. 75 damage, it's something. It's not a tremendous amount, but, you know, it's a... Uh, you know, taking about a quarter, a third of somebody's life bar. So it allows, like, the two hands or summon to finish him off. That residual damage. That sentence? Alright, it might backfire, because that Geomancer might, uh, you know, like, use Wayfist and what have you. So two of the four units for each of these teams have been hasted. Um, remember, that Monk has equipped armor. Uh, he might damage split this. Let's see. Oh, he does not. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Is that damage split connected? He might have lived this shot. Let's see. Because I think this monk's going to die with a jump. I'm pretty sure he will. Especially with an Earth Slash. Yeah. If the damage split applied on the summon, I think he would have lived this. Nope, he still lives. Wow, I'm surprised. That's why you want to have uh, beefy monks with equip armor. The highest base HP. Um, I don't know what she's doing because... <laughs> yeah, I did look at the CTs there. Uh, and now that Geomancer Casty is going to put her right back down. And there might be a stop inflicted. No, nah, but at least the unit was put down. Um, Alright, another double haste. Alright. Alright, so it is a three on three right now. That uh, Lancer will be going, or not the Lancer, the Geomancer on Phoenix Nine Zen is going to be going down once he gets his next turn. Um, Earth Slash, he should have it. Nope, Resurrection, I can get behind that. Because if the Geomancer gets a turn in before that summoner, um, the Geomancer is going to be able to take that sum put that summoner right back down. Yeah, he should be able to get a turn off. 
the haste is worthless because the geomancer is just going to die right here now. Um, remember, he has two hands, the lancer. He doesn't have to throw item. So it is a four on one once again. But I don't think this lancer can play the hero like he did last time on Phoenix Nine's end. Alright, you can't tell Hamido a jump. Alright, he should be getting hit. Hopefully a stop of hers. Nope, it does not. But I don't see this happening. Yep, especially with all that uh, blast damage going right onto him. Alright, let's go to our uh, tiebreaker then. I'll see you guys um, for that in just a moment. Yeah, let's uh, select the map and get right to it then. Um, let's see. What did I select for my tie? Oh, alright. I'm going to go book storage fourth floor. Okay. Yeah, I think I used this as a tiebreaker before. I got like 30 or 40 of these matches in the last two months, so it's kind of hard to keep track. And I always don't go to tiebreakers myself, so that's why I don't see these. Again, I haven't uh, spent the time editing the maps, reclassifying them in size and everything. Well, with them being spread out, accumulate like that right off the bat means the monk's going to amplify his healing, as well as just his martial arts in general. Unfortunately, even if that Lancer is in range, he can't jump because of the height panels above him. Let's see. I'm going to try to angle the camera upwards. Let's do that. Nope, it was angled upwards, my bad. Alright, there we go. I like having it at tilt because you can see over edges a lot more easily. No petrifies, luckily, for uh, Phoenix 9. Two don't act. Oh, that is really lucky for uh, Phoenix 9. Very unfortunate for Castia. Um, there is no, uh, well, the Geomancer has Asuna, I guess. She has white magic, so. 117, a good amount. Another nuke spell, she's dead. Um, is she gonna go for a heal? And he petrifies no return. No, no. The, uh, the luck from Elemental is not paying off at all for Castia whatsoever. Oh. Um, paralyzed, interesting. So three out of four units are paralyzed. Um, I think that summon's gonna hit, unless, uh, Blade Grass applies? Let's see. She, no, remember, she couldn't get hit because she has got, uh, Earth Elemental. She's got Float Boots, made her immune to the Earth Slash damage. That spell is still charging up. And it looked like it was gonna hit the Summoner as well. I don't know what that is. It's gotta be, uh, Leviathan? Oh, Magic Attack, it's gonna hurt. And hits two people. All right, a good amount of damage, to say the least. Um, this is, uh, I think this is game over. Unless that monk can revive the geomancer, who's got, uh, who's got Asuna for the, the lancer who got petrified. Because this is looking like it's going to go to Phoenix Nine, sadly. Um, another Leviathan, but she's probably going to get mid charged. She's still alive, but I don't know. I don't think she's going to get turn off. Luckily, the Geomancer is not a critical. And almost all that HP that the Lancer took just got healed right back up. So, another Leviathan. Double kill on the mages. It's a 2 on 2, but... Actually, no, 2 on 3, because this uh, Geomancer is alive. Um, race spell? Alright. I don't know if the Geomancer... Oh, that will kill her off, though, the mid-charge. That's a little unfortunate. Um, Phoenix down, yeah. The Lancer having Phoenix down, being able to resurrect, uh, this is not looking good whatsoever. And a guard, yeah. This, uh, is, this should be going to Phoenix 9, based on the numbers. Oh, wow. A damage split and a critical hit, which is kind of interesting. Because I think that monk can get a turn, use Earth Slash, and finish him off, yeah. Oh, MP switch, uh, he ate the shot. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, if anything, I would say what kind of what um, clinched this looks like for Phoenix Nine is uh, the double donut from the Kamatachis when the uh, male Geomancer afflicted them earlier. There's two units not being able to, you know, take turns. That's massive. Because now it is a four on one, and this Lancer being able to have a Phoenix down. Yeah, this is not 
one one uh one more melee shot. I think he's dead. Um, what's she gonna do here? This is a little peculiar. Looks like a cure spell, or maybe an Asuna. The targeter didn't really say, um, but it doesn't really matter because the jump should kill him off. Yeah. So. All right. Well, congratulations, Phoenix Nine. Uh, you have prevailed, uh, Castia. Even though you didn't take the best of three this round, you still had you still your team still put up an entertaining show, and that's what matters. So. All right. I'll um. I'll see you guys for uh, tomorrow's video, and we should be back into a regular streaming schedule. I just been doing stuff. Uh, uh, outside of here, so. Alright, I'll, um, see you guys tomorrow. Take care.